number one Iron Age booty daddy. Well, this is kind of unexpected. Not that it's unexpected that it was going to happen to Eric July, because we know that the amount of hate for the guy online after being radically successful with Isom 1 and Isom 2, and his building of the Ripperverse comic book company, as well as doing an animation studio, everybody kind of knew that he was going to get sued. Um, I looked it up, and it seems like it's fairly legitimate, as in the lawsuit is happening, but it's who it's coming from. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for checking out the channel. That's right, Eric July is getting sued, and we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to share my thoughts on that, and um, I, I think it's kind of important to go through things because our court system's a little weird here in the U.S., but if you guys like what I'm doing here on the channel, please like this video, uh, subscribe to the well, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for me. That would be absolutely fantastic. Also, do me a big favor. YouTube has been burying me in the algorithm lately because I won't talk about Marvel and DC and Disney, and that's what triggers the algorithm. But if you guys go out and you share this, it's really, really, really going to help my videos. And what that does is it doesn't tell YouTube and its algorithm to share it more. What that does is that gets around them. And you guys sharing my videos is the biggest help that I can possibly get from all of you. So that way we can get the word out. But let's go into this. Over on Twitter, Anna, that Star Wars girl actually shared something. She said that, what the heck, Eric July and the Ripperverse are being sued over the name ISOM by the International School of Min Ministry that uses the acronym BIZARRE. Now, this was shared, as you can see in the tweet over here. Uh, this is being uh, done under trademark law, right? Under saying that the trademark, they're in violation using ISOM as a character name for um, the actual comic book itself. So I looked into this because it's being shared from the Ripperverse Comics unofficial page, and I went and typed it in on Google, and sure enough, I'll pull it up here from courtlisteners.com. Uh, I've got my phone out here. Good Shepherd Ministries International v. July and Ripa LLC. Now, um, it looks like this is a thing, the District Court of CD, California. So that should tell you everything that you need to know right there. Yeah, <laughs> So a church in California has decided to sue over trademark. Now, one of the things when it comes to trademark law and things like that, to the best of my knowledge, is that if he is going to use the word ISOM, um, it has to be somewhat related to the same field, right? It has to be, can't just be an acronym. ISOM, he's using it as a name. And also one of the things that I went and did is I looked up the etymology of the word. Now, the etymology of the word comes from uh, from what Google's telling me here, it's Hebrew, okay? And it can mean equal or even. Uh, this even uh, has made some popular among Jewish families who often chose the names with significant meanings. So this is something that I think at the very worst is just going to delay some of the progress that Eric July and the Ripperverse is making. Personally, this lawsuit here, I don't feel has any way, especially if you listen to Eric July when he was getting everything set up for the Ripperverse and making sure that everything was a go. Um, he had his lawyers look over everything and make sure that it was good to go. I can't see in my mind how they would look past the trademark law here. One of the other things that I find absolutely hilarious, I, I, I kind of figured with Eric July and his massive success and the money that he's making, somebody would come after me. What I didn't expect it would be the International School of Ministry. That's kind of funny. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, people of God, supposedly in California, which I didn't think any of them existed anymore, and this lawsuit kind of proves that they don't, are suing a guy for using a word that is not remotely related to ministry or anything of that nature or even in their field at all. So somebody who is in the ministry world who is looking into this company would not get necessarily confused or maybe the SEO for ISOM and bringing up the comic book is taking traffic away from their website. Now, that happens to be a coinkadink based off of popularity, not necessarily trademark infringement. I'm not a lawyer here at all, but I did spend a fair amount of time looking into copyright law and trademark law and things like that a while back when I was in a band, and so I actually had to read through all that crap, and it was annoying. Uh, it is one of the most boring reads on the planet. 10 out of 10 would not read. Would read everything in the Iron Age, though. Everything in the Iron Age over copyright and trademark law. 
But that's one of the biggest things here that I, I again, I expected Eric to get sued eventually by someone. <laughs> Not men of God, which that's kind of funny. And ultimately, it was filed in California. That could be potentially problematic. And what I mean by that is this could be something where it could run out to a point where it's just a financial uh, uh, expenditure for Eric and is, would could cause a lot of delay in some of the books and things like that. I don't think it's going to sink Eric by any means, but this could definitely throw a monkey wrench. I mean, anytime a lawsuit happens, it throws a monkey wrench into any of your plans. I don't know if you guys follow Nick Ricada at all, but if you listen to Nick talk about, you know, his um, lawsuit that's going on against him right now, I don't know if that's been resolved yet or not, but if you listen to him, it's like, it, it, it's just a pain. It's just lawsuits are just a pain. Like it is the last thing that you should do if you can't get the issue resolved. Now, I don't know if these people tried to communicate with Eric prior to and say, hey, ISIM is our trademark, so on and so forth. And rightfully, Eric, I believe, would have the legal right to say, buzz off. I'm not a ministry school. It's a superhero name, derivative of a word and a name that's been around for thousands of years, potentially from the Hebrew uh, culture. So ultimately, what's going on here? And Eric, I don't know if he'll be able to talk about this or not. Um, but for people who see the news and they're going, what the hey, what's going on? Why is he getting sued? It is over trademark from what it looks like. Uh, that's what uh, courtlisteners.com or courtlisteners, whatever. I'll post that link down in the description so you guys can go check it out. And you guys let me know, what do you think about this? Do you think that this is going to throw a monkey wrench in the plans of Eric July? Do you think this is just going to get dismissed outright? Do you think this is something that goes on further? Um, I really... I really don't know. Like I said, um, it, it was filed in the state of California, and that's the only thing that worries me is because, well, I don't trust just about anything in California, except for a couple people that I know. John Della Rose, Mike Miller, they've been cool with me, so I trust them. But outside of that, well, Trippy Soul. Trippy Soul's in California, too. But outside of a few of the people that I know in California, what do you guys think? Do you think that this court case is going to throw a monkey wrench in the plans? Do you guys... Think it's going to be really bad for Eric? Do you think this is just going to be a non ad? Ah, we're going to throw it away. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I I could. I mean, there's a lot of different routes that it could go. But I saw this and I was like, well, wait a minute. I had a different video planned here, but this is kind of a big thing. Whenever a lawsuit against a kind of a cornerstone of this movement of this Iron Age movement. Um, you know, when there's a lawsuit filed against the guy. So let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, if you guys comment on any of my videos this week, tune in on Sunday at 11 a.m. Central, and you guys are going to be able to hang out in the live stream as I read all of the comments that have been left on my videos for this week. The one thing, yes, I would love to grow my YouTube channel, but I have the luxury of it being small enough right now that I get to go in and I get to read all of your comments and I get to interact with you guys in that way. So if you guys like what I'm doing here, I would really, really appreciate you guys just sharing this video, sharing the channel, and, well, bringing more people here. So, ladies and gentlemen, as always, until next time. Wait, didn't open it this time, but I have one. I've got it. It's here. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all so much for checking out this video, and I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.